Hello YouTube friends. I wanted to do an updated video for the um, Coach Whitney duffel bag and I had a really sweet viewer who had commented on my other one saying that she had just bought one in red and um, so it got me of course thinking oh I missed this bag I need to start using it again. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like that. I think half the time I make these videos for myself to remind myself what I have in storage but I just wanted to go over it a little bit more and I have an updated what's in my bag for this one because it holds so much. Before I was using it as a crossbody, but I also enjoy using it as a shoulder bag. And the straps do have three holes on each side, which isn't a lot, but it's enough to make it into a nice shoulder bag or a crossbody. And it's very comfortable to carry both ways because the, um, the strap is pretty thick. So let me go over the dimensions real quick. So the dimensions on this one are um, 11 inches lengthwise, 12 inches high, and four and a half wide. And so no matter what you put in it, it stays very slim. And I think that was a little misleading to me when I first started using it. I assumed you couldn't pack a lot in it because it is so slim, but it really expands and the leather is so beautiful on these old bags. So on the back, it appears that there is a pocket. That's not a pocket. It's just stitching. Okay. So just has stitching in the back and I love the layout of this bag. If you wanted a different look, you can wear it the side out. Or if you want to look just more like a standard duffel, you can flip it around and wear this side out. Either way. And it doesn't have a lot of logos or bells or whistles. It just looks like a nice minimalist leather bag. And look at how gorgeous this leather is. Isn't that beautiful? I didn't have to do a whole lot of cleaning on this one. I don't think I ever dunked this one to clean it. Um, I think I just had to condition the leather. So when you open it up, you have a front pocket. And in this front pocket, it is large enough to hold this entire planner. And I wanted to show you guys this planner because it is so cute. I got this off of AliExpress. And I'll try and, if I remember, I'll put the seller's name underneath. It was only like $16. And this is my second one from this company. Because they're so useful. I use them for work every day. So it's got a nice, it's not leather. It's just pe uh, polyurethane, but has a little snap to keep it closed, a place for the pen. It also has card slots, and they monogram it for you for free. I love this Tiffany blue color inside. It's got rose gold binding, six clips, and anything that is A6 size for the planners will fit in here. So it's just been so handy. It's got another pocket in the back. But I think the look of it is so cute. So that's my planner and that fits in the front pocket. Now even with the planner in the front pocket, you have tons of room. I mean, I don't know if you can see this. That is a huge pocket. Absolutely huge. And it's all unlined. It's just got the suede backing, which I love. So that's pocket number one. Then you get to a zippered pocket in the main body of the bag. And I have not stuffed this by any means. See how much room you have? I could put a sweater in there, um, several more wallets or pouches. I just have my little vitamin container, corner zipper slit. I have a makeup bag in here. This one I'm not sure where it was from. I think it was from Ipsy, but I'm not sure because usually it'll have the name printed somewhere but this doesn't but I thought it was so cute for the holidays with the red and I've just got powder lipsticks dental floss glasses cleaners hair band the usual so that fits in there and I have my favorite Victoria's Secret card holder I love this little thing and then you've got a flap in the back here. So this back pocket actually lifts up and out. Kind of strange, huh? 
and this is where you'll find the creed with the number this is 4115 made in 1994 I think the E means Costa Rica I'm not sure if I remember that correctly but it's really nice leather it's got the vintage ring and in there I just have some tissues my mask and a lip gloss but you could still fit a lot more in there okay so that is not it you think you're done because you hit the body of the bag right no even though it doesn't have an outside pocket in the back it has an inside hidden pocket in the back look how roomy that is it goes all the way down the length of the bag isn't that crazy and in there i have my lotus large wristlet which i went over in one of my prior videos it's beautiful but this is not a tiny wristlet and when you put it in there look at that look at that room you could fit so many more things in there easily fit your phone keys whatever you want so isn't this a practical bag i just absolutely love it it is so easy to care for you don't need to do anything special if it looks dull you can condition it very easily so i'm going to put the planner back in here and see how much room you still have you could easily put a phone some keys in there and then i load this one with my heaviest fattest items on the bottom and then build up from there and everything just fits so nicely no problems at all so practical and what I love is even though I think I have this packed I mean I have not usually carried that much I don't usually carry a planner with me unless I'm going to work or something and I've been working from home but see how slim it stays even with all of that in there I think I have the little wristlet strap kind of hanging out here hold on move that so it doesn't get a dent in it <laughs> okay So see it really stays very slim and this is old so it's got a little bunching on it but I really like these side panel pieces because they um, they really do give it support that it needs but your whole bag stays against your body so nicely because it doesn't poke out very much the bottom you can see how slim that is isn't that nice so there we go, one of my old-time vintage favorites, the Coach Whitney Duffel. And I believe this is English tan, or British tan, I believe. Okay, a beautiful bag, and um, like I said, they come in all different colors, and you can pretty much find them on eBay or Etsy, um, and they have a wide range of prices <laughs> right now. So if you do some digging, I'm sure you could get one for probably under $50. Okay, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time.